How's it going guys? It's Richard and welcome to Behind the Scenes November. It's that time of the month again, the time where we find out about updates that probably won't actually happen in the month and we get to think, oh that sounds good and then turns out to be terrible. But this month actually looks pretty promising. There's a lot of free to play stuff as well actually, so if you don't have members then there is actually a lot of good content coming out this month which is pretty rare. For Jagex, so maybe they're maybe they're turning the company around a bit. Maybe the funding that they got from microtransactions is finally like coming into effect. So I, I think it could be interesting. Now, first update of the month is actually the only members-only piece of content, which is the Tears of Guthix Go with the Flow update. Now, Tears of Guthix is a very old piece of content. I don't know exactly when it when it was created, but when I became a member in uh, I think September two thousand and six, this was like. The sort of thing that everyone knew about that had been around for a while but they're changing it and graphically they're entirely changing it which is quite quite good because it is depth level you can tell that it's old content by the graphics but now if you're like i if you look down here if you're blessed with 80 mining and crafting it says which i am so i'll be able to show you this content and you've completed the quest of course then you get a new option to make a bigger ornate bowl and catch a lot more tears now this is this is in th this is insane for people like me because look at the potential XP up to five times as much as you normally would get, which is that is a lot. I mean, I think if you if you're lucky, like sometimes I can get like well over 200 tiers, and I think that usually gives me like I don't know 8k XP or something like that. I mean, imagine that times by five, 40k XP once a week. That is a lot, and I'm definitely going to be taking. You know, make making use of that because <laughs> that is insane. So graphics update and a, a new way of getting XP. Well, not really new way, but like improved way, and that'd be quite beneficial. Now we're onto the ones that affect both free-to-play players and members, and this is a dungeoneering XP increase. Now, if you listened in one of the, the Q and A's that they did live on YouTube, then they actually talked about how the solo XP and the like, XP for if you were in a group of less than five in Dungeoneering would receive a pretty sizable increase. Not to the point where it would be as good as if you're in a five man team, but like definitely notable increases because they, they had a lot of complaints about that. This is good for me because last night I was in a Dungeoneering team where two of the people were drunk and that is not fun. <laughs> they, they they literally were, were terrible. I had to leave because they literally just didn't have, they were completely out of it, running all over the place. I don't know if they were just acting drunk, but it wasn't a fun sort of team to be in. So I'll be able to get more Chaotix. And I've, I've already got quite a few of the scrolls, but it's it's all looking quite positive. Now, one... The, there's only There only seems to be one update that actually includes quests this month, but it comes with two quests. And it's, um, it's Ariane, so I assume it's going to work exactly in the same way that Ozan did. So if you've completed the first Fremnik Saga, you'll know that it includes Ariane, Sir Owen, and Ozan. And uh, the Ozan quest, that was it September it came out? And it came out with two quests at once, and one of them being free to play and one of them being members. And the free to play one replacing an old, um, like old free to play quest, which was Prince Ali Rescue in that case. But in this case, it's replacing Rune Mysteries, which well, is quite an old quest, I suppose. Because I mean, when did Rune Crafting come out? That must have been like 2004. It was it was early, so that that's replacing that entirely. And so that's that's changing like, the entire way that rune mysteries work i assume so it introduces you into rune crafting a little bit more and rune memories which i, I just assume is just going to be like a lead on from the previous quest which is quite interesting and i guess we'll, we'll see how all that turns out now one thing that a lot of people might complain about actually is the graphical update for the wizard's tower was previously mentioned to mean that tutorial island will disappear i mean tutorial island hasn't actually been used for Years. I mean, I can't actually remember when they introduced the learning the ropes, but this that, that it's been there unused for years now. And I remember them mentioning that the Wizards Tower update was going to completely resize the Wizards Tower, and it was going to completely take up the new area of sea, which means no more Tutorial Island. But if we just look at this image here, then you'll note that it's it's a lot, it's a lot like bigger. I'd say it's got a lot more land around it, taller definitely, and it looks far more impressive. Like there's an ori around there. I think I. Is it is it pronounced Ori? But I, I, in, in all, I think it looks like it's got a lot of potential. So I think that's an interesting update. I don't know if that will change the Runecrafting Guild, but I guess we'll just wait and see how things happen. Now, yet another free-to-play update is Gravestones. Now, I don't know if you've been like me, and you've been running to kill a bunch of mobs, and you have to run through an area with 
high level monsters like I was going to kill water fiends and you know I just thought you know yeah I don't need an anti fire I just run through them and obviously I got hit for like a 600 and then massively comboed died and then at my grave because I was fully geared it meant I had a, f like a massive full of inventory of all my equipment slots and there was a huge pile of equipment on the floor and it just takes it's really not fun to have to pick it all up but now they're, they're introducing a take all and re-equip all option for the gravestones which means that if you die and you lose your gear then you can just run over right click re-equip all puts all of your equipable gear on I assume it has a memory so it remembers what gear you were wearing before so that will be definitely useful if it does that but I can imagine it will try and equip everything and it will just maybe equip the best armor or just the ones that are first but we'll see how all that turns out and take all obviously you just get resupply everything and then you're straight back into the game and it's a lot easier so I think that's I think that's definitely a positive thing and um, they like themselves to have a little joke about death wanted to re reap all now another kind of very big change to runescape make X option another one that affects both free to play and members but basically it's just it's just changing that the interfaces and everything when making items like information about the products experience value grand exchange out prices and all that which obviously it's kind of interesting you know item requirements and all that and it presents it all in one place but one thing that I want to talk about is the way that it's able to clean a whole inventory of herbs now if you don't know there's one quite effective way of making money is to find a herb that the, the grimy version is considerably cheaper than the, the clean version and then you just you basically clean the whole inventory and obviously if you clean and then you have to click 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 all the way through the inventory and it takes a long time and it's a lot of effort to do it but if there's a if there's a clean x option basically clean the whole inventory then that's going to make it kind of overpowered in a way because then you can just click that and it does the whole inventory and uh, it's something, something as high level as Torstal, that's 23 XP per herb. A whole inventory, that's uh, pfft, so that's, that's, that's almost 600 XP for an entire inventory. I know it doesn't, doesn't sound that much, but for something that doesn't cost anything, that's that's quite a lot of XP to, to gain for something that will potentially get you profit. So that's you know, a new, new way of training herb lore, perhaps. Well, not really new, but improved way of training herb lore. And will give you yeah, a nice sort of a nice change to the skill, make you some money, and mean that you don't have to click your mouse so often because if you're like me when you're doing a herb run because you've got the time limit on your juju farming potion then you'll you'll just know all of the grimy ones put them in the bank and then take them out later and clean them all so that, that could be a big change to that now something that is finally like we're finally getting a bit of information on when the beta will be coming out so first of all the beta is now going to be accessible for everyone so free to play players and members obviously I assume the free to play version is going to have limited features because free to play is going to have limited features but there's going to be a combat academy now if you're like me and you went into the combat beta and you just straight away imported your save which is what I did then you would have been given a lot of abilities and things like threshold ultimate and all that and I, I was so like overwhelmed by it I never went back I, I never even bothered trying it again I just sort of hoped they would give a guide and that is exactly what this combat academy is they're giving you a guide on how to use all the different abilities and um, so, so you can finally learn how to use it properly which is going to be really beneficial for me but one thing that to note is they're giving you a generous XP reward to, for your live account for those that take part in the academy and a quick in-game poll which is I don't know if it's going to be like the promissory note now that was what was it 1 million and 50k XP that it gave you I didn't get it because I wasn't a member in August so I missed out on a lot of XP but that is a if, if it's like that if it's that sort of sizable amount I mean the word generous implies that it's gonna be like that but you know maybe it's gonna overpower it like that again but you know it should be interesting it's nice to learn about the combat academy and uh, though actually it proves they're actually taking some of our feedback if they like require you to in do an in-game poll poll to give you the XP so you know in all I think that's gonna be quite good now there's one update at the bottom that no one cares about um, so in all I think November looks promising I think all this money from microtransactions is finally like taking its effect like the development time has come has been taken into account and we're finally actually getting the updates that we deserve for our increased membership price are having to deal with the squeal of fortune and I think that this is something that's definitely positive it's gonna come and I think that in all things are getting better I think by the new year people will have forgotten about the issues of the squeal of fortune I mean I've actually been I've, 
I've been taking a sort of a different approach to it recently. I mean, maybe a bit more positive about it, and I think it's better. And in all, it's probably proving to better the game as a whole. So maybe the game isn't dying like everyone thinks. Now, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Just a bit of information for behind the scenes. I'll do obviously my individual updates. I'll just do like a video talking about the update. And sorry, I'm sorry this is a bit late as well. Uh, I I tried to record this video twice with other software, and then the software just failed at the very end. It was trying to compress all the video and everything, and then it just straight out died. So I completely lost all of that information. But yeah, it's, it's not a big issue. I've got it here now. So thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.